no matter what you face. Don't allow the devil to use somebody else to be an excuse in your life why you underachieved what God purposed for you. That's all he wants to do. People don't hurt people. The devil hurts people. He uses people to do it just like God uses people to help people. So Satan uses people to hurt people, and he's doing it intentionally and on purpose because he's so bad, wants to offend you, and he's so bad, wants to hurt your feelings, and he's so bad, wants to just leave inflictions within your life to where you have an excuse of why you never achieve what God has purposed you to achieve. Look at he says, just as I have been with Moses, I will be with you. I will not fail you nor forsake you. And then verse 6, we're going to say everything in orange tonight together. We've got a lot to say. You ready? Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. You know what God's saying? Because this, this is the big lie the church does right here. Oh, you highly blessed and favored in the Lord. You got saved. Everything's going to be so much better now. Really? Man, I need to back up. Check my inventory. The truth is, you just got into the fight. You were just being used as a weapon of the enemy before, but now that you said yes to Jesus, you just stepped into the arena. Now, it'll be easier in this way. It's not your fight. The battle is the Lord's. It takes us some time to learn that. It took me 46 years to figure that out, and I'm not even fully finished figuring it out, but I got a pretty good idea right now. This battle is not mine. This battle belongs to the Lord. Be strong and courageous. For you shall give this people possession of the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. And then ready? Look at this now. Verse 7. Okay, stop. Just listen. Only be strong. Look, 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 look. He didn't say, like, hey, be strong, be courageous, be cute. Be dressed well. Be a, be a little bit charismatic. He didn't say any of that. He said only. Let me clarify the only two things you need to make it from where you're at to where God has called you and destined you to be. The only two things you need to do to be able to make that is to be strong and to be courageous. And if you will apply that strength and that courage to every aspect of your life and every design and call of your life, then God will see you through. And be what? You notice how it starts adding on. Like first he just started out like be strong, be courageous. And he's like, okay, check that, check that. Listen, only be strong and be very courageous. Be careful to do according to the law which Moses my servant commanded you to do. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. What this is really saying is just simply follow the word of God. Don't follow man. Don't follow me. Don't follow a preacher. Don't follow. Do you follow the word of God? Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. So if you're following me because you know that I'm following the word of God, you're safe. But you can't put me on a pedestal because I'm just like you. Jesus and Jesus alone deserves that spot. Look at this now. He says, do not turn from it right or left so that you may have success wherever you go. God is for you. He's not against you. God wants you to succeed. God wants you to flourish. God wants you to prosper. God wants you to finish your race. This is what God wants for you. And sometimes church or religion or even our own conscience, and especially the devil, loves to make us think that God is like the mean school teacher just kind of hoping you fail. And that's not God whatsoever. God's the good teacher. He's given you everything to succeed. So only be strong and very courageous. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate it. This is the Bible now. You shall meditate it when? On? 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I was supposed to say and. I'm going to try one more time. And. You hear me saying this all the time. Be a daily feeder spiritually. If you begin your day with the word of God and you end your day with the word of God, I promise you, you will notice amazing life changes begin to take place. 